Welcome back to another episode of Solve It with Sir Jude. Today we are going to discuss about solving radical equations. So we are about to finish the topic radicals. So what is all about solving radical equations? So the first thing that we should do is to define radical equation. So when we talk about radical equation, it is an equation in which the variable appears in a radicand. So therefore, meron tayong variable or unknown na nasa loob ng radical symbol. Mapa square root, cube root, fourth root, or nth root. So let us have some examples. So we have square root of x. Minus 1 is equal to 4. So if you can see here, the variable x is inside the radical symbol square root. So therefore, it is considered as a radical equation. So another one is the cube root of the binomial 3x plus 5 is equal to 4. So same thing, we have a variable inside the radical, the cube root. Then, the last one, the last example, we have the square root of the binomial 5a plus 2 is equal to the square root of the binomial 3a plus 10. So we have a variable inside the radical, which is a. How about that examples? So we have square root of 4 is equal to 12y. So if you can see, it does not satisfy the given definition of a radical equation. So kailangan meron tayong variable sa loob ng radical. So since number 2, at pwede naman siya ma-extract, actually kapag ka in-extract natin yung square root of 4, it will produce a linear equation. So let us now have the second non-example, which is given by the square of the binomial 3z plus 4 is equal to 0. This is not a radical equation, but we can call this one as a quadratic equation. And then the last non-example is x plus y is equal to the square root of 5. So how are we going to solve radical equations? So there are three steps that we are going to follow in order for us to solve radical equations. Let us have example number 1. So solve square root of x plus 8 is equal to 12. The first thing that we should do is to isolate the radical expression. So, pag hiwalayin natin yung radical expression na square root of x doon sa constant term which is 8. Okay? So, ilipat natin si 8, si positive 8 sa kabila. So, it will become square root of x is equal to 12 minus 8 using the addition property of equality or just transpose. 12 minus 8 will give us 4. So, therefore, we now have the equation square root of x is equal to 4. So next, step number 2. We need to raise both sides of the equation to a number equal to the index of the radical. Then solve. If you can see after nating ma-isolate yung given, the next thing that we should do is to raise both sides of the equation to a number equal to the index. So the index of this expression, square root of x, is 2. So therefore, there is a need for us to raise both sides of the equation by 2. So the square root of x squared, so we can cancel 2 and the index, so it will produce x is equal to 4 squared is equal to 16. Next, after getting the value of x, hindi pa doon nagtatapos. The next thing that we should do is to check our answer. So kailangan mag-satisfy siya sa ating original equation. So substitute natin. So from the original equation, square root of x plus 8 is equal to 12. Substituting x, which is 16, it will produce square root of 16 plus 8 is equal to 12. So equal nga ba sa 12 itong left side of the equation kapag ka sinimplify? So let us continue our checking. The square root of 16 is 4. So we now have 4 plus 8. Is it equal to 12? 4 plus 8, we all know that it is equal to 12. So we now proven that the left and right sides of the equation are equal after substituting the value of x which is 16. So therefore, the correct solution to the given radical equation is 16. So mahalaga na i-check natin yung bawat solution because meron tayo mamayang ma-encounter na hindi magsasatisfy sa given radical equation. Let us proceed to example number 2. For example number 2, we have the square root of the binomial 3x minus 6 minus the square root of the binomial 2x minus 12 is equal to 0. So if you can see, two radical expressions are in one side of the equation. So therefore, ang unang gagawin natin, i-isolate natin yung mga radical expressions pag hiwalayin natin sila. So if that will be the case, if you are going to transpose negative square root of the binomial 2x minus 12 to the right side of the equation, it will produce 
square root of the binomial 3x minus 6 is equal to the square root of the binomial 2x minus 12. So, na-isolate na natin yung ating equation, step number 2. Erase natin both sides of the equation to a number equal to the index. So, ang indices na itong dalawang expressions na sa left and right side of the equation is 2. So, erase natin both sides by 2. Okay? Okay? So, if you are going to simplify quantity square root of 3x minus 6 squared, it will be 3x minus 6 is equal to, same with this one, quantity square root of 2x minus 12 squared will produce 2x minus 12. Then, let us apply addition property of equality. Ilipat natin si 2x kasama ni 3x and then si negative 6 kasama ni negative 12. So, pag naglilipat tayo, we just need to change the sign. So, this is positive 2x. Pag transpose it will become negative 2x. Same thing with negative 6. Pag nilipat, it will become positive 6. And if we are going to simplify it further, 3x minus 2x, that will become x is equal to negative 12 plus 6, that will be negative 6. Yan, nakuha na natin yung value ni x. Doon ba nagtatapos? Hindi pa. We will proceed with step number 3. So we need to check our answer. So by substituting the value of x to the equation, it will produce this equation. So simplify natin. 3 times negative 6 will give us negative 18. Negative 18 minus 6, that will be negative 24. So itong expression na to will produce square root of negative 24. Minus, ito naman tayo sa second radical, 2 times negative 6, that will be negative 12. Negative 12 minus 12, that will produce negative 24. So if you can see, even though mag-equal sila kay 0 kapag, ka sinim kapag ka sinubtract, Take note na bawal tayong magkaroon ng negative sa radicand if the index is even because it will produce an imaginary uh, number. So therefore, it will not satisfy our equation. So we will call x equals negative 6 as an extraneous solution. An extraneous solution is a solution derived from the original equation which does not satisfy the given equation. So, therefore, anong sagot? No solution. Since walang value ni x na magsasatisfy sa given radical equation. Okay? So, kailangan mag-check. So, next, number 3. We have 3 square root of x is equal to 6. If you can see, the equation is already isolated. Naka-isolate na yung ating radical expression. So, ang kailangan na lang nating gawin is to divide both sides by 3 or just apply the multiplication property of equality by multiplying one third to both sides. So, simplifying 3 square root of x over 3, that will give us square root of x. 6 divided by 3 will give us 2. So, next, mas na-simplify na siya, no? Step number 2, raise both sides of the equation to a number equal to the index of the radical, then so. If you can see, ang ating index dito ay 2. So therefore, there is a need for us to raise both sides of the equation by 2. So simplifying square root of x squared, that will simply be equal to x. Then 2 squared, that will be 4. So after getting the value of the missing variable, the next thing that we should do is to check our answer. Paano ito check? Just substitute the value of x or the unknown variable given dun sa problem mo doon sa original equation. So, this is the original equation. Substituting x which is equal to 4. So, it will become 3 square root of 4 is equal to 6. Equal nga ba siya kay 6 kapag kasimplify itong left side of the equation? So, let us see. The square root of 4 is 2. So, we now have 3 times 2 is it equal to 6. So, we all know that 3 times 2 is 6. So, therefore, we have proven that both sides of the equation are equal. So, therefore, we can say that x equals 4 is a solution to our given radical equation. So, next, let us proceed with example number 4. There. So, we are given with the square root of the binomial 37 minus 3x minus x is equal to negative 3. First thing to do, isolate the radical expression. Ilipat natin si negative x sa kabilang side ni equation. So therefore, we will produce square root of the binomial 37 minus 3x is equal to negative 3 plus x. So naging positive na siya. Pag nagtatranspose, nagbabago ng sign. Then, let us 
uh, pagpalitin natin yung dalawang terms na to so para mas madali siyang ma ma solve later so it is just equal to x minus 3 so let us proceed raise both sides of the equation to a number equal to the index so we all know na ang index nito ay 2 so therefore there is a need for us to raise both sides of the equation by 2 simplifying square root of the binomial 37 minus 3x squared will simply be 37 minus 3x is equal to so this one will produce a quadratic trinomial so paano nga yung technique nito kapag lagi square tayo ng binomial square the first term so it will become x squared we multiply the first and the second terms of the binomial then multiply it by 2 so x times negative 3 that will be negative 3x times 2 it will produce negative 6x to obtain the last term of the quadratic trinomial uh, just uh, square the last term of this binomial negative 3 squared will simply be positive 9 so we are now given with this equation next let us transpose or apply the addition property of equality to 37 minus 3x. So kapag nilipat natin yung 37 minus 3x sa right side of the equation, it will become 0 is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 3x plus 9 minus 37. Let us combine similar terms. Negative 6x plus 3x will give us negative 3x. 9 minus 37, that will be negative 28. So, let us transform this one into standard form. So, by symmetric property, that will be x squared minus 3x minus 28 is equal to 0. If you can see, this quadratic trinomial is factorable. So, isip tayo ng factors. So, unang kailangan i-factor si x squared. The factors are x times x. Next, isip tayo ng dalawang number na kapag minultiply, negative 28. At the same time, kapag kainad yung dalawang numbers, will produce negative 3. So, the numbers are negative 7 and positive 4. So, therefore, the factored form will be x minus 7 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. Then, applying the zero product property, so we have x minus 7 equals 0. And then, the other one is x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, addition property of equality being applied to the first equation obtained, we will produce x is equal to 7. Addition property again for x plus 4 is equal to 0, we will obtain the second value of x which is negative 4. After obtaining the values of x or the solutions, asunod, i-check natin yung bawat answer. We need to substitute each of them to the given uh, original radical equation. So, si 7 muna tayo. So, upon substitution, we will produce this equation. So, negative 3 times 7 will produce negative 21. So, 37 minus 21, that will be square root of 16. So, ito na yung kalalabasan niya. So, square root of 16 is 4. Then, 4 minus 7 will be negative 3. Since both sides of the equation are equal, so we can say that x equals 7 is a solution. So, tama yung sagot natin for 7. So, how about for x is equal to negative 4? So, si negative 4 naman ang isubstitute natin doon sa original radical equation. So, upon substitution, this will be the result. So, negative 3 times negative 4, that will be positive 12. So, we now have the square root of 37 plus 12. 37 plus 12 will be 49. So, we will produce square root of 49 plus 4. So, naging plus 4 nga pala to because negative times negative will be positive. So, square root of 49 is 7. 7 plus 4 will be 11. 11 is not equal to negative 3. So, therefore, x equals negative 4 is considered as an extraneous solution. So, therefore, ang sagot lang natin for this item number 4 will be x is equal to 7. Let us now proceed with the last example. So, we are given this time with the cube root of the binomial x minus 1 is equal to 3. So if you can see, the equation is already isolated. So magkahiwalay na yung radical expression doon sa constant term. So the second thing that we should do, we need to raise both sides of the equation to a number equal to the index of the radical. So the index here is 3. So cube both sides of the equation or raise both sides of the equation by 3. So the 
the quantity cube root of the binomial x minus 1 cube will be x minus 1. Then 3 cube, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3, that will be 27. Then let us apply addition property of equality. Ilipat natin si negative 1 sa kabila. So it will be x is equal to 27 plus 1. 27 plus 1, that will be 28. So we now have x is equal to 28. So next, let us proceed to step number 3. So we need to check the answer. Substituting x equals 28 to the given radical equation, cube root of the binomial x minus 1 is equal to 3. So we'll, we'll produce cube root of 28 minus 1. 28 minus 1 will be 27. So we now have cube root of 27 equals 3. So the cube root of 27, 27 is a perfect cube. The cube root of 27 is 3. Since both sides of the equation are equal, so therefore we can say that x equals 28 is a solution to the given radical equation. So I hope that you've learned something for today about solving radical equations. So kung natuto ka at least dito sa video na to, kindly like, share this video for us to help others, click the notification bell for more video lessons, and subscribe if you are new to our channel. So this is Sir Jude. Good day.